What's going on everybody, Chadley here, and welcome to episode 1 of Borderlands 3 Mythbusters. In this series, I'm going to be taking myths that you guys submit to me in the comment section, and uh, we're going to test them out and see if they uh, are true or if we can bust them. So if you guys want your myths featured, go ahead and leave a comment down on this video. Make sure to head it with myth, just have the first word in your comment be myth, it makes it super easy for me to find it. And if it's a good myth, I'll be uh, testing it out on the next episode. But for this first episode, a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to submit me some uh, questions or myths that you guys had about the game. So I went through and I picked out five and we're just going to go through them here. So our first myth today is going to come from Tyler Gardner. He wants to know if you can transfer a weapon anointments from gun to gun by using Moses Iron Bear. So we're going to go ahead and test that here on Shiv. So. Just so you guys can see, I have two different anointments about um, action skill end and then one specific to Iron Bear. Um, so we're going to go ahead and test those. So let's start off with just the action skill one. So with this one, uh, at the end of the action skill, the next two magazines will have a 50% additional bonus to corrosive damage. So as you guys can see, this gun does not deal corrosive damage. It's all just kinetic um white damage there so let's go into iron bear and we're gonna leave and you guys can see that now we are doing corrosive damage on top so the gun does not have to be corrosive to start with so now let's just wait for our iron bear to come back and we can see if we can transfer that to um, our sleeping giant here all right we got our iron bear back let's see if we can do this so let's go ahead and hop in I'm just going to try to switch. I'm going to hit one right now, which is what the sleeping giant is on. See if it will switch there. Otherwise, I'm just going to press the button as I'm getting out. Try to switch as fast as possible. And we are not doing any corrosive damage. So, at least with that one, we cannot. So now let's test this other anointment where you do not consume ammo for five seconds after exiting Iron Bear. So, uh, just so you guys can see... Sleeping Giant, I do have like the ammo regen on Moe's right now, but you guys can see it still uses ammo. So let's go ahead and have this out. Hop into Iron Bear. I'm going to press 1, same thing as I did in the last test. We're going to jump out, switch to our Sleeping Giant, and we are actually not consuming ammo right now. Look at that. So... I think why this anointment works is I don't think um, the not consuming ammo is not tied to the gun. I think it's just a character like buff. So I think that's why that one works. But in general, I do not think you can swap anointments by using Moses Iron Bear. So I'm going to have to call this one busted. So next, we're going to knock out two myths with one stone here. Free Ikeli Walk wants to know if you can crit swap in this game like you could in Borderlands 2. And Zero Two wants to know if we can one hit Grave Ward. Now I actually know the answer to both of these already, so let's go ahead and just uh, test that out here. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down. We're gonna, uh, this barely does any damage. We're not really gonna count that as uh, prior damage. So we're gonna shoot the Scourge, switch to Unforgiven here. And he's gone. <laughs> so yes, you can crit swap. And yes, you can one shot Grave Ward. Now, full disclosure, um, I actually got this method from Morning After Kill. If you guys don't know him, he's an OG Borderlands YouTuber. So definitely go check him out if you guys haven't already. Moving on to our next myth. Wilfred Fletcher wants to know if you can one hit melee shiv on normal mode at level 50. And my prediction is going to be yes. Yes, you can. So... Let's just see. And he's gone. So yes, you can indeed one hit melee shiv on normal mode at level 50. Now our last myth for today comes from Jesus Rodriguez. He wants to know if true Vault Hunter mode Mayhem 3 loot is better than normal Vault Hunter mode Mayhem 3 loot. Now I actually didn't test this myself. So huge, huge thank you to my boy Pixies. He actually ran through on Mayhem 3 in True Vault Hunter mode and normal Vault Hunter mode. 100 times each killing Grave Ward and seeing how many legendaries he got on each kill. He went through and made a whole spreadsheet 
and actually gave me access to it. So thank you again, Pixies. You're awesome. Love you, bud. So just to note, um, all of his runs were on Mayhem 3 and he used the loaded dice relic and he had 14.04 luck bonus from his guardian ranks. So after formatting all of his data into a graph, we can actually see that normal Vault Hunter mode at Mayhem 3 tends to give you like the lower end of legendaries. So you'll either get none more often, one more often, but as you keep moving up with the number of legendaries per kill, true Vault Hunter mode really seems to shine. And the average legendaries per run for each and true Vault Hunter mode, you had 1.88 legendaries per run and on normal Vault Hunter mode, 1.56 legendaries per run. So it does seem like there is a slight boost to loot drops, at least with Grave Ward. Now it's not an overwhelming amount of legendaries more uh, per kill on true Vault Hunter mode. So I don't know how comfortable I feel saying this is definitively confirmed. And as you guys can see on the graph, on normal Vault Hunter mode, there was one time six legendaries got dropped and that never happened with true Vault Hunter mode. So maybe there is not a huge difference between the two. So with the data we have right now, I'm gonna have to give this one a plausible. We cannot confirm this myth, but we also can't bust it. The average was slightly higher with true Vault Hunter mode, but it was not enough for me to feel really comfortable with saying confirmed. But that is all the myths that we have for today, guys. If you guys wanna see more myth busting episodes, make sure to leave a like on this video to let me know. If you guys want your myths featured in the next episode of Borderlands 3 Myth Busting, make sure to leave a comment down below on this video. Start your comment off with the word myth. That way I know what comments to be looking at and be able to feature you guys in the next episode. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more Borderlands 3 content. We'll be doing more myth busting episodes as well as builds, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching this far, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.